Hello everyone, and uh, this is my Mega Man Maker level. This is one of my favorite ones that I've made. I just made it recently. It is the Jungle Factory at Napalm Man. Um, you can see I created it here, the level ID 357100. Uh, play it if you haven't, because uh, it's a really awesome-ass level. I um, played a lot of other levels. I've played every Mega Man game there is, and I thought it'd be cool to create a, a level in the South American jungle. You know, Mega Man. He's got a lot of adventures, and uh, I don't think he's ever been to a, like, a South American Amazon sort of jungle. So, I tried to think of all the enemies that I could get that would fit in uh, you know, a jungle and put them all in here for what 1.6 has in it, so... Yeah. So far, a lot of people have liked this level, and I thought I'd uh, showcase it off here. We got some water in the beginning. Um, I gave us a shit ton of weapons, because I love these weapons. Rain Flush is, like, one of my favorite weapons ever. Uh, Laser Trident kicks ass. Drill Bomb is great. Hornet Chaser. Mega Man 4 and Mega Man 9 have the, uh, the best weapons in the series, in my opinion. And I will debate till the cows come home about that. I didn't give Flash Stopper. Oh well. I put the items in instead for, uh... I don't know, just for a, a little bit of a novelty. There's a part later on in the level I thought would be kind of cool to have, uh, have the item 2 to fly over all the stuff. But, uh, we'll get to that when we get to that. This little room right here is kind of reminiscent of a lot of rooms you see in Mega Man, where you, they take you off the beaten path, and you gotta, like, you know, you can get some goodies, but you gotta go through some danger to get it, you know? I'm taking a one up there. I'm hoping Wrecking Programs, when he does 1.7, will add... Or, no, 1.6, I'm sorry. He'll add, like, live, the live system, you know? Uh, because that'd be kind of cool, you know? Like, lives to get through the level. Like, that'd make the players more stressed out. And, uh, we got the first part of the factory in this stage. I love Dustman's level. Dustman's level is kicks ass. Like, I love the whole theme of, like, the, the decayed kind of, um... You know, the whole theme of just, like, you know, the recycling and the junk and stuff, it's all, you know, messy. And, um, any, like, industrial level is always my favorite. Junk Man from Mega Man 7 kicked ass. But, uh, Mega Man 4 is one of my favorite Mega Man games, if not my favorite one, so... I have to include this background in it. I'm hoping he'll finish the Dust Man all the Dustman elements, and definitely put Dustman in the game, because he's, he's pretty sweet. So, now we're out of the first factory, and we are in, uh, this big swamp area here with deeper water. Uh, Mega Man can't, uh, swim, obviously, so we gotta make our way across these Yuko blocks, unless you use item 2, but, uh, I'm just gonna go across the, the blocks this way. I threw this in to kind of make it look like a Heat Man section, you know, I, the long block part that he had to go through, that was, uh, really iconic, and I wanted people to kind of get that feeling doing it. So, now we got the, uh, Amazon Jungle Snakes. I threw these guys in because, you know, snakes fit in, fit into a jungle. You gotta use all, you gotta use what you got, you know? You gotta use all the, the, uh, characters that would fit a jungle theme, and there's plenty of animal, like, bad animal robots. You know, uh, snakes, frogs, fish, dogs, cats. I can't wait till we get dinosaurs in the game. That'll be really fun. I'm sure a lot of fans will start making, like, big dinosaur levels and stuff. Uh, but, fuck. I just, wanna, I just want all the enemies, the classic enemies, to be in here. You know, I want to see every, every kind of enemy. I don't really care about the gimmicks so much. I just care about the enemies being there, because... With enemies, you can do so much for your stage. Gimmicks are big, don't get me wrong. Um, I don't... I'll go pick up that E-Tank. I wanted to put an E-Tank and an M-Tank in this level just for, like, shits and giggles, you know? Uh, but, uh... Oh, fuck. This, this part is probably my least favorite area of the level. I feel like I put too many hazards here, and I didn't, like, put them in an easier place. Some dude reviewing this level would probably be, like, critical of me for making it, you know, fucking over the player. Because this part is pretty treacherous, I won't lie. And it's all because I put that, that guy right there that kind of comes by. Uh, I definitely think this part should be edited. But let's try that again. 
I mean, the, most of the stage is amazing. It's just the end that I think I kind of fucked up on. But uh, anybody watching this, please, uh, please play this and like look, play my other Mega Man levels too. I, I really enjoy making these. Uh, I've I've wanted a, a Mega Man maker like this for a very long time. I uh, just haven't had the chance to get one um, until I found out about this program. I mean, you know, I came in and when 1.6 or 1.5 had been made, so I, I'm really, uh, I'm really glad about that, you know. I gotta enjoy the, the fruits of, uh, all this other hard work in the past, like the other versions. So, yeah. Look at my other ones. I, I made a really fun one, uh, Dr. Wily's Aquatic Base. That's pretty awesome. Now we got Napalm Man. I, I chose to put Napalm Man in because I wanted it to kind of seem like the factory. You know, like he was... Just like he was in the factory in the 5. And uh, Napalm Man is weak to the Ice Slasher. Kind of like the commando guy in the Mighty Number no. 9. That guy was weak to Ice, which I thought was kind of weird, but... I wanted to make this guy weak to Ice too, so... Anyway, that was my level, Jungle Factory. If you liked it... Please give it a try, put the ID number in, level ID, and uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Give a thumbs up. Alright, later.